Greetings, dear friends. I present your attention to most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Toyota Camry XV40. If you do not forget to lubricate the guide pins on the caliper and change discs and pads in time, the brakes are almost eternal. Moreover, the quality of the original components is so high that with 2.4 engines, cars meet the native discs and on runs under 200,000 and the pads may well come out 100. But with 3.5 discs overheat and the pads burning in the literal sense. More weight and more aggressive driving on average also affects. The handbrake mechanism is a little weak, but it's rarely used on cars with automatic transmission. To replace its cables, you need to remove many parts of the plastic interior trim, so that on all cars it either doesn't work at all because the cables are acidic, or it simply doesn't create the required braking force. Cars with vacuum booster leaks are very rare. This manifests itself in the form of an available floating of revolutions and a quiet hiss when the pedal is pressed. Its only drawback is that wheel alignment must be done regularly, including on the rear axle. Wheel alignment angles go away quickly and easily after a couple of trips in the directions. After 150,000 most likely, you will have to change the ball joints in front, possibly together with the levers. And to maintain comfort, replace the struts and shock absorbers in the front and rear. Behind the same tension after hundreds of thousands will require all the traction. If instead of rubber there is insulating tape, then after a hundred you will have to invest in replacing wheel bearings in a circle. In general, nothing surprising, everything is standard. The steering is also reliable and simple. The tapping of the rail is audible only at high mileage, leaks are rare. The spline connection of the steering column or universal joint cross pieces knocks more often. Steering wheel position sensor malfunctions have a greater impact on ESP performance, but on rare hybrid vehicles we have, this can cause steering failure. The mechanics are solid, as it should be. It is worth paying attention only to manual transmission leaks and the condition of the CV joint outer covers. The transmission itself with manual shifting will not bring any surprises. The E351 box was installed on several generations of Toyota cars and it proved to be at its best. No fashionable dual mass fly wheels except perhaps a hydraulic release, but the bearing is separate and the hydraulics are separate. A completely classic and reliable design. However, there was some age-related wear and tear. The gear shift lever is loosened up a little, the wings are gaining backlash over time. And especially strong personalities sometimes stretch and tear the drive cables from the clips or even bend the lever itself. The later, by the way, is sometimes done on purpose. Initially, it goes too far forward and to the right, and on a white center console, this is not the best solution. After a run of 150 to 100,000, it is better to change the cables, otherwise there are chances that their tips will fly off. It is better to combine the process with changing the clutch. Most of the cars are equipped with automatic transmissions. Of course, they all are manufactured by the subsidiary ISIN. Normally, the Russian Camry relied on a 5-speed automatic ISIN U25OE with a 2.4 engine and a 6-speed U660E for cars with a 3.5 engine. In addition to these options, imported vehicles with other units may be encountered. So, restyled cars can be found with a 2.5 engine and U760E 6-speed and our rare 4-wheel drive cars with right-hand drive were equipped with a 4-speed U24 1E gearbox. The hybrid ones were equipped with the E-CVT P311. The most common is the 5-speed U250E U151E Aka IC9551 LS. On cars assembled in Russia, the U151E version is most often installed, it is slightly stronger. In principle, the box can also withstand the torque of 300 or 3.3-3.5 motors. For example, it was installed on the Lexus RX 3 thick, but with powerful motors it didn't live up long and not very happily, but with 2.4 it turned out to be almost eternal. If you do not abuse too much racing around the city, change the oil every 50-60,000 km and the filter with every second oil change of the or the appearance of visible pollution, then it can go far beyond 300,000 km, there are even chances to make it up to 500. However, then count on automatic luck. There are enough people who have confused the Camry with the Ferrari 360, and even this automatic will be removed from them. Races and lack of maintenance first of all finish off the valve body solenoids, and in case of untimely oil change, irreparable damage to the plate itself, its distortions and overheating occur. The automatic transmission mechanics also suffer. The bushing and pump seals wear out. The box starts to leak. Often overly aggressive drivers have to rear have the rear cover damaged and the overdrive and direct clutch packs burn out. And in advanced cases, the whole set of these packs, including the drum. 
But first, the cover bearing will die, which is usually accompanied by a shock when engaging the reverse gear and shifting from second to third. The box is well mastered in the repair, thanks to crossover with powerful V6 and minibuses. Thanks to this, there should be no special problems with the restoration, but in these cases it is easier to find a contract unit. Boxes with Camry often serve as donors for all-wheel drive transmissions of crossovers since there are a lot of them and they are cheap. But it's by no means necessary to look for replacement versions from the 3.3 engine. The transmission mechanics do not differ, but the difference in wear will be big. The 6-speed U660E is somewhat more complex in design and has a number of childhood illnesses. Its version of 4 weaker U760E engines came out later and therefore turned out to be somewhat more reliable. Like many modern automatic transmissions, there is a problem with early wear of the torque converter lockup linings. With the runs over 120-150,000, it's already worthwhile to closely monitor impurity of the oil, because in case of critical wear, the KS turbine engine is able to very quickly clog the well body channels and leave the box without oil. Plate wear, solenoid wear and more are common problems. Often they also add the replacement of the selector position board with a temperature sensor. During normal operation, the oil resource is more than sufficient, over 200,000, but it decreases very sharply if you drive aggressively. But Camry with the 3.5 engine for many turned out to be just a machine for bending everyone and everything. Remember this. Much more serious is another problem that doesn't appear on every machine but leads to a complete failure of the unit. The main bearing of the housing starts to play due to the weakening of the thrust ring. This happens especially often with those who load a cold automatic transmission. At the same time, vibrations kill all other components, including the planetary gear, the clutch hub, the differential and if you start the situation, then the box body. Damage to the direct drum is usually associated with poor sealing of its package. It is necessary to replace the pistons and fixtures, sometimes the drum itself is overheating. In case of drum wear and repeated incorrect installation of the pistons, the drum and shaft assembly, assembly is often changed, but in this case only the price of spare parts exceeds 50,000 rubles. After restyling, cars are mainly equipped with an already modified versions of a 6-speed automatic transmission, but nevertheless, until the end of the model's release, the problems were not completely resolved and may manifest themselves, especially with tough use. Well, the standard problem with the rear of the rear cover, like in the 5-speed gearboxes, come to the fore. In this case, the C1, C2 packets are lit, which are responsible for transmissions 1-4. The U760 box has no bearing problem and is especially the same as the restyled versions of the U660. The all-wheel drive transmissions U241E belongs to the family of eternal boxes U140, U240, aka Icing AW9040LS, which have become legendary for a long time. The main weaknesses are the same as in the Toyota boxes, the, bo the back cover, electronics failures and wear of the solenoids. Moreover, the wear of the blocking linings of the gas turbine engine during aggressive movement occurs quickly, the liner is too small. As everything else, Camry's motors are also in perfect order. They are reliable, conveniently configured and inexpensive to repair. With proper operation, they will also survive the body, but anything can happen. For example, radiators need to be monitored, they are very weak. Corrosion destroys the lower part by the age of 10, and leaks are possible. And the ignition modules are not eternal, the fasteners break. The most common 2.4 motor is the 2AZFE. It is considered eternal and in general it is true. But in real life, after 200,000 km, you should be prepared for oil leaks. For example, through an oil pressure sensor or gaskets. Overheating most often leads to damage to the threads in the cylinder block and leakage of antifreeze from under the cylinder head. On machines of early releases, the thread may also be broken due to a structural defect but the solution to the problem is provided by the manufacturer. A weak crankcase ventilation system leads to oiling of the mass airflow sensor and the intake, and the throttle valve quickly gets dirty. After a run of 150 to 100,000, you need to monitor the leaks of the nozzle seals, and in general, many rubbery elements should be updated. In general, the motors needs to be monitored, and then it will show itself in all its glory. The resource of the piston group during normal maintenance is more than 300-350,000 km including due to the short service intervals, which many unconscious motorists seriously consider a disadvantage, and the high quality of the recommended oil produced under the Toyota brand. The diamond chain resource is from 150,000 km to about 250-300. These are excellent indicators by all standards. Sometimes they pay attention to a weak hydraulic tensioner. Often it needs to be replaced after hundreds of thousands of mileage. 
At the same time, spare parts are inexpensive. This is not the M271 from Mercedes, where two phase shifters with varying stars cost 1500 thousand rubles each. Here the whole set pulls for 915,000 if you buy an unoriginal one. With runs of 120-150,000, it is also recommended to adjust the valve clearances. There are no hydraulic lifters. The engine is not prone to coking, oil consumption is mainly associated with contamination of the ventilation system and leaks of oil seals and gaskets. The resource of plastic and rubber parts is high, since the operating temperature of the motor is not higher than 90 degrees and the thermostat is generally 84 degrees. In our conditions, it is worth fearing the failure of the catalyst. It is located here on the engine itself, and when it collapses, intensive wear of the piston group begins. Do not miss the appearance of the ring of the honeycomb block in it or the appearance of back pressure at the outlet. Cold starts and quick warm-up on the go are especially harmful to it. Another weak point is the pump resource. After hundreds of thousands of runs, it is recommended to change every 50,000. The shovels are still the same, only with age a small pump resource, here it breaks down even more often in catalyst. Unfortunately, the timing chain on this engine is not happy with a constantly high resource, with a consistently high resource. There have been cases of chains stretching with runs of less than 120,000 km, and the stars are the first to suffer. The noisy operation of the motor is the reason to bargain for about 50-80,000 rubles. Noises are often interpreted to unregulated valve clearances. Here, this procedure is required every 80-100,000 km mileage and costs significantly more than on force. A very noisy start, most likely the appearance of the first problems with pressure leaks through the VVT I phase shifter couplings or contamination of the control valves. Oiling of the throttle valve and intake after annealing is here on a regular basis. The throttle needs to be cleaned and it is recommended to change the plugs at least once every 40,000 km for normal smooth operation. The appearance of leaks due to shrunken nozzle rings with high mileage and various violations of the intake tightness is also a typical problem. On machines manufactured before 2010, leaks of the oil supply tube are possible. It was a composite metal plastic one. The part was changed as part of a revocable campaign and if the engine on the purchase car is not finalized, replace the tube with an an all metal one right away. If it breaks, the oil in the engine is enough for about 15 minutes of operation. When operating on low viscosity oils and a long term heavy load, overheating or even seizure of the fifth cylinder occurs. The cooling system turned out to be rather weak. Among the owners, the problem even received the capricious name PPT, problem of the fifth cylinder, which reflects well the consequences of a breakdown. In the presence of an oily appetite, an increased noise of the piston group and endoscope examination is recommended. However, although there are no piston repair sizes, the engine liners are cast iron and the overhaul will not be so ruinous. It is also worth noting that the Camry version of this engine still suffers from overheating problems much less than on the Lexus GS3, where PPC visits the owners of V6 cars through one. The motor is not one of the absolutely unpretentious ones, but in comparison with German competitors, it's just an example of reliability and resource. We unfortunately take such engines mainly for driving, and the condition of both the engine and the transmission leaves much to be desired. But there are chances, especially if the car is from a corporate park. But the tax is too big and hardly justified, because only on the next generation machines the power was cut to 249 horsepower. On right hand drive cars, there is also a 2 ARFE engine, a 2.5 liter inline 4, in fact, not very different from the AZ series. Unless the motors has become quieter due to the use of hydraulic lifters, and there are no problems with the strength of the thread in the block. On this information about the problems of Toyota Camry XV40 is exhausted. If you know more or disagree with what you heard, I am waiting for you in the comments.